So Atlas from the very beginning has always said 15 minute charge time. That is this line in the sand that we have drawn, but it's also super important for our customer base. We're not an electrification of a full size pickup truck company, although we are building that as one of our product solutions. Our focus is actually on the underlying technology that powers that ecosystem. Victor here, director and lead engineer of charging ecosystems and energy storage solutions. And I'm here to talk about megawatt charging. Today, I want to talk about charging standards. Hey everyone, I'm here to demonstrate to you 150 kilowatt charging with this vehicle right here. We amped up the juice in this. As you saw in the news, the team not only debuted our proprietary charging handle and megawatt cable design, but we've successfully passed a thousand amps of current through this cable. Stay tuned for more. The vision of Atlas Motor Vehicles has never been just about the truck. It's about the future of energy. And one of the largest gaps that we see in the market today and in the future is in charging. And today, Atlas Motor Vehicles and Victor Atlasman is going to tell you about a major milestone here at Atlas as we look to the future of charging and what we're doing about it. Hey everyone, Victor here, Director and Lead Engineer Charging Ecosystems and Energy Storage Solutions here at Atlas. And I've got something huge for you today. We're building a future where all of us realize the benefits of energy independence as Atlas powers the ecosystem that powers our lives. Today, we're gonna to show you Atlas Megawatt Charging Technology. Not a simulation, an actual demonstration in the raw. Others talk, we show. From the start, you've been with us as we share our weekly progress, take you along each stage of development from idea, proof of concept to our intended product. Earlier this month, we unveiled the design of our megawatt charge handle and cable. These were designed in-house to deliver a power of magnitude beyond anyone else in the market. No fine print here, no tag on their handle saying it's limited to 300 amps. There's still a lot of work necessary to put this out in the world, but by no means is this the final version. What we're gonna show you today is historic. Not only for Atlas, but charging as we know it, megawatt scale. You already see me max out my EV and others via CCS. But this isn't designed just for EVs. This charger isn't locked just to our batteries. It's a universal charger meant to be deployed across market segments from marine, mining, agriculture, industrial, aviation, most importantly, in areas that don't have available utility service to deliver this amount of power. Coupled with sustainable energy sources, Atlas's batteries and technology has almost no limit in terms of where in the world it can be deployed. As an engineer, I'd be hard pressed to say it's a magic box. But knowing the application and the use case, the Atlas Advanced Charging System, or AAC as we call it, can be deployed anywhere in the world. Adding, it's not a close standard. We've been working with others to provide the maximum amount of power acceptable in different standards, whether it be CCS, MCS, or AAC. What you're gonna see today is the Atlas Charger, cable, handle, and inlet, all designed here in our Mesa, Arizona headquarters, as well as a test picture representing a vehicle paired with a high-powered load and a display alongside it to show the diagnostics data for you to witness live, raw, as it's happening, something the public has never seen before from anyone. Okay, so when we do testing, there are hundreds, if not thousands of parts in this test. Uh, occasionally, sometimes parts get loose or break down, and immediately we stop the test to check on what happened. In our particular case here, during one of our megawatt charging tests, we had a, a failure in one of our resistive loads. Immediately upon uh, identifying that, and that happens very quickly between uh, the sensor data we have, thermal imaging, and just the general uh, impacity of the system, we then shut it down. We have a lot of safety mechanisms from, from e-stops, physical mechanical controls, and software controls, and we verify exactly what happened so we can ensure that we provide a safe uh, delivery of a megawatt charge power. As you've seen before, our cable is similar in size to the CCS cable. Our megawatts charging station is actually smaller than this 20-foot container behind us. There's still work to be done on what the station looks like, but all the functions are there. Notice no screen, no buttons, except for the one I'm gonna push to start and stop the charge. This is the megawatt charging event you've been waiting for. Now, without further ado, let's plug in and start charging. This is what the handle looks like. Now it's plugged in and let's start charging. And you're gonna see over here, let's see how quickly we can get it to rise to above a megawatt. While maintaining a temperature that's low, safe to the touch. It takes about five seconds for it to refresh the screen for us to see the diagnostics at it. There's a lot of information that's passing through. You have temperature, you got power, you got amperage, you got DC output voltage, you got a pre-charge voltage. 
And we have a graph over here to display the ramp up to above a megawatt. Currently, we're just a bit below a megawatt. We're at 988, look at that, 1.08 megawatts. I don't think we're done there. I think, I think we got more juice to squeeze out. 1.13 megawatts right there. 1.14. 1.16. Not giving up. There's more. 1.18. Incredible, man. Wow. Breaking towards 1.2 megawatts. All in a span of less than a year. So Atlas brings you technology and actually shows it to you working. We don't, we don't just put it up on display on a stage to say, hey, here's our product. We're gonna show you actual use of the charger. Now, how long should we deliver this energy? In 15 minutes, the system would deliver above 250 kilowatt hours of energy. A typical EV has a battery between 65 and 85 kilowatt hour. A high level 80 kilowatt hour vehicle in this case will charge another five minutes from empty to full. How's that for compared to a gas station? Of course, this is assuming the vehicle can handle it. Hence, why Atlas is vertically integrated across the space. With plug and charge ISO 15118, there's no need to swipe any membership or credit card. Just plug in and charge, and then go. This is just the beginning, and I'm filled with energy because I believe the work that Atlas is doing, the value that we bring to you, and the impact we're gonna make in the world. We've been transparent since day one. This is raw, we show it all. This is what we're known for, and you've been wanting to see, and I'm glad you're here with us to see this today. We've got a lot more exciting things to show you soon and a lot on how we make it happen. I hope you stick around to see it. Now back to work. No one else has done this before. Megawatt of charging. Can you name a company that's actually demonstrated that? Please put it in the comments.